So today, Electro sent over to me this beautiful touchscreen for Raspberry Pi or other single board computer. And I'm going to make a teleprompter out of it. I don't know if you've ever seen me with my laptop off on the side or on my lap or anything like that. Usually I'm trying to read from a script. I do write scripts for a lot of my videos and narrating from them can be kind of hard. I'm not really super experienced in reading off scripts. Usually I just do presentations kind of off the cuff or I spend a lot of time rehearsing them. So teleprompter hopefully will help me improve my production quality. And at least it's a fun project to build. So here's all the parts I got today. So this is the touch screen itself. So here's the screen itself. I already started to peel the peel, but I'm leaving it on because I don't want it to get too dirty. On the back side, we have a adhesive tape we can peel off. This is the controller board for the touch screen. It takes 12 volt power in. It has USB for touch screen, USB out to power the Pi and a mini HDMI. Then there's these cool tracks here where you can attach the screws for the single board computer. So I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi for this, but you could use other computers. And this mounting system is pretty flexible for that. So it's pretty nice. The buttons for the screen controller are here on the side and there's another set later too that we're going to be able to plug in. It also came with a full size HDMI to mini HDMI, which is good because mini HDMI is a pain. And another one that is micro HDMI to mini HDMI if you have a Raspberry Pi 4. It's got a USB-C, so this would be for powering the Pi. And we got a USB micro, so that would be for touch screen back to the touch controller. In my case, I actually have an older Pi, so I have a Raspberry Pi 2. So I'll need to get my own micro cable to power it, but that's fine. And it came with a power supply. This is for the touch screen. So 12 volt, 2 amp. So in addition to the touch screen, I've also 3D printed some parts and bought some parts. So I've got an assortment of fasteners here that I got. They're all number 832 because that's what I have a ton of stock of. Despite being number 8, the rest of my design is entirely metric. So gotta love mixed unit systems, right? America. So the basic gist of how this is going to work is I've got this 60 mil rail system. So this is common in kind of professional camera stuff or yeah. So I got this nice adapter here. I'm going to put my camera on here. This is where I'm going to mount the tripod and I'm going to try to get this so that it's balanced. So my hope is, now again, I don't know if it's going to work, but that I can move this in and out with the weight of the teleprompter on the front and the weight of the camera on the back to get this relatively balanced on my tripod. Because my tripod kind of sucks and that's probably the next big purchase I'm going to make because my tripod is falling apart. But yeah, so I'm going to try to balance it on the tripod with this mount. If I get a better tripod, I'll get a better mount, but this is what I got. And then I 3D printed this gigantic ring here. And so the screen has dimensions on the website and I measured them myself and made this ring here. So the outer dimensions of this exactly match up with the outer dimensions of the screen. The inner dimensions here match up with the bezel here. So on three sides, this basically ma ma uh, matches up with the active area. On the bottom, there's a little bit of a lip here where some of the cables wrap back around. And so this should sit nicely like this, I think, kind of like this. Yeah, so it sits with the bottom side facing the camera, so it'll get inverted. That sounds right. I can flip the screen on the Pi if it's not right. So this is going to mount here. It's tall enough that I can fit the Raspberry Pi in here. So this is going to sit in there. It has an adhesive strip on the back of the screen that comes with it. I'm just going to rely on that. I'm not going to bolt the screen in. I made some tolerance issues when I designed this, but it took like 12 hours to print, so I'm not reprinting it. Basically, the screen is a tight fit. I got these guys here. They're going to mount like this on an angle. So basically, the way a teleprompter works is you have a piece of glass and a 45. You have a computer monitor below it that has your lines on it. The camera looks straight through. And as long as there's no light for any glare for the camera, it'll look straight through and be happy. And then the subject, so me, um, the actor, I'm looking at the piece of glass that is mirroring the computer screen below it. So I can see my lines as if I'm looking right through into the camera. So it's a cool concept. I have a piece of glass here. Oop, I don't want to get it dirty because I just cleaned it. You know, I probably got some fingerprints on it already. This came from an 8x10 picture frame. So super cheap, super easy to find. I'm going to use some uh, painter's tape on the side to thicken it up a bit. So it has a good fit in the 3D printed part because it's a little bit looser than I was hoping for. I think I gave it a 2 mil gap and it's a little bit too big. So that's going to go here on either side. It's going to hold the piece of glass. And then this piece is going to go on the top. And that's going to hold the fabric that uh, keeps the light out. I didn't make the fabric yet, so I don't know, that might be a part 2 or that might just be a picture update or something. But yeah, so let's start building this thing. 
So here we go, attaching the screen to the mount, peeling off the double stick tape here and snugging it up in. It was a real tight fit. I did not leave enough tolerance that 3D print there. Now the side arms go on. These are just screwed into the side. There's a nut pocket in the back that the nuts are in. Taping the glass, that's nice and snug. I used two pieces of tape on each side so it doesn't slide around in there. And getting the other side arm on. And then of course the top, gotta put the two nuts in, the nut pockets, screw them in, tighten it up. This just holds the fabric from getting in the camera lens. And the fabric keeps light from getting the back with glare. So this is what the whole setup looks like without fabric. So the camera's mounted there. Uh, the lens looks through and it doesn't see the teleprompter, which is nice. Here's a quick test with my laptop and it looks great. I'm super happy with how it's working at this point. So my tripod was not up to the task, so I bought a new tripod and it came in the mail, so I'm setting it up for the first time. Super happy. I got the plate attached for the tripod onto the teleprompter, so I can set that on, start getting the cables connected. I just have USB to the Raspberry Pi keyboard and mouse. I'm leaving the Raspberry Pi dangling for now until I'm all done setting it up, and I'm not happy with the software yet, so I'm gonna come back and do some more software later. So after all that work, here is what I've got. I've got my teleprompter, beautiful 11 inch screen, Got a Raspberry Pi 2, which might not be powerful enough. I don't know, it's kind of slow on the desktop. And this beautiful whole setup with this tripod here. I'm really happy with it. It's much better than the old setup I had um, with the old tripod and without a teleprompter and everything. The software is not that great yet. I'm currently using a web-based program and it's just kind of a pain to use the keyboard and mouse on the screen. I do have the screen set to reversed in Raspberry Pi OS. So I can look at the desktop in the teleprompter and use my mouse and stuff and it does work. Uh, I should have gotten black fabric for this instead of just blackout cloth. This is blackout cloth for blackout curtains. And it's actually white, and I guess I should have realized that, but uh, I need some black. That would help contrast of the teleprompter. Doesn't really matter for the camera. So yeah, that's all set up now. A better software solution would be nice. I'm sure I'll get to that in the future, but I'm sure this will also help me with some of my upcoming videos. So yeah, so thanks for coming along on this project. Thanks for Electro for sending me this touchscreen. If you're interested in the touchscreen or any of the stuff in this video, I have links in the description, tripod, all the little bracketry that I bought, the 3D print files if you want to print your own. It's not quite perfect, so there's probably some tolerancing you might want to do to that. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, I got that down below. Um, thanks for coming along, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next adventure.